Hello everyone, and welcome to Ink Travelers. Uh, this is an indie game I found on Game Jolt. I thought it looked really cool, and I don't really remember very much about it since I downloaded it, so let's just go into the game. The idea. Once upon a time, there were two boys living together with their grandparents. Because their grandfather was old and sick, and his birthday was in two weeks, they decided to search for a very special present for him. Maybe then he would feel better soon. Are you sure about that? Of course I am. But what would you think he li he'd like? But what would you think he'd like? Meh. Don't know. What do grown-ups like? Weird things, but we could ask Granny. Good idea. And now I guess he's going to be following me. Okay. It's going to be a really tiny screen to work with for me. You guys can't really tell, but... Alright, let's just leave. Very nice detail so far, though. Good morning, Granny. How's Grandpa? If you keep being this loud, he won't feel as good as he does right now for long. Sorry. I think today he's better. And I hope so. Granny, we've got to ask you something. We want to get something very special for his birthday. So what does Grandpa like? Um... When we were young, um... I'm I, not sure. Granny, please don't start with your younger days. They had the exact same reaction as I did. But back then... Keep it short, Granny. We just have two weeks. When did you get this cheeky? Or that cheeky? He loved to take a walk. But he loved weird-looking sweets even more. But he didn't ever really mention anything. And beside, none of us have enough gold for a proper present. Okay, so we got gold for our monetary system. Yeah, she's right. Let's look for a present outside. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, that is much better. Very nice big screen filled up now. Hmm. Guess I can't go in the water. There's a person over there, a cave over there, lots of butterflies. Well, let's just walk around then. Nothing over here. Very nice music, I have to say. Hey, who are you? Ah, uh, whoops, you made me jump alright. Do you live here? Yes, we do. Oh, that's good. You know, I got lost. Where do you want to go? I got told that if I go through a forest straight here, I will arrive at the next town. And if I arrive too late at the market, I won't sell anything today. You are selling things? Presents as well? Yes. Tell me, you know where I have to go, right? I will give a present in exchange. It has to be something great. Better than taking a walk or sweets. Great enough to make our grandpa healthy. Oh my, do I have something like that? Mumble. Number, number. Mumble, that's not it, mumble. What is this doing here? Do I want to know what it is? Ah. I don't have any good presents for you. But, but I know where you can find one. Where? Here you go. Am I getting a map now? Or a book? I suppose it would make sense if it was a book. Do I have to push the button? What's... Nothing is happening. Or I'm just impatient. That's probably just as likely. Okay, guys. The game crashed there for some reason, so let's try this again. 
Bloody blood blah. Conversation, exposition, etc. etc. Going through the bag again. This is where stuff decided to mess up the last time. I don't have any good presents for you, but I might be able to crash the game. I know where you can find one. Where? Here you go. Yay, it worked this time! Uh... Is that a key for some sort of treasure? Oh wait, no, that was excited. Is that a key for some sort of treasure? It's for your books. <laughs> you know them being like, what? This key will open a path into books. And you can find the greatest presents in Tales. Yes, that's right. So, in which direction do I have to go? That's easy. Do you see the path on your left? Follow the path until you hit the river. There's a bridge, and after you crossed it, you can see a sign. It will show you the way to the town. You can't read the top arrow of direction anymore, but Granny said that's the right one. I can remember that. Thanks. Thanks a lot, you two. Have fun. On one hand, I have no assurance that this key really works. And they're questioning it too. Will this really work? Let's try it out. I mean, all you did to get it was give directions, so... It's not like you were really getting ripped off even if it doesn't work. There were some bookshelves in the house, so... Why? Okay, here we go. Back to our room. What should we try out? How about the little sugar witch? How about you just let me pick the book? Or not. Once upon a time, there was a little witch who lived in a blue forest. She grew pumpkins and sang lullabies every night for the skeletons in front of her house. Well, that's not dreary at all. She carved friends out of the pumpkins, and the ones which were not suited to be friends became delicious candy. Yeah, perfectly normal. She had to make them at night because the sweets tasted the best that way. The other thought, the others thought this was weird, which is why she was not allowed to live in the town. Wow. They they don't let her live in the town because of weirdness. That's pretty mean, actually. But she was not sad about it. She was not alone and had lots of fun anyways. That's nice. When fall arrived, so did the children to get all the delicious sweets. They had to pass by all the, those spooky ghosts, but they always thought it was worth it. Because her sweets were the best around throughout the country, and to show their gratitude, they brought many presents for her, and at the end, everyone was happy. So far, we got sweets and presents, and walking. All three themes from the game are in the story. If you're going to count those as themes. The page isn't flipping. Please don't crash again. Oh, maybe that's the end of the book. Okay. I'd prefer not to go there. We've got to get through all the spooky ghosts if we go there. Or you could just open the book at the last page and then try the key. I mean, come on, am I the only one who thinks of these things? How about the rabbit family? They're making sugar sweet cakes. In a land where the sun is always smiling, there once lived a family. Only once, though. A rabbit family which built themselves a nice house. How rabbits managed to do this without thumbs, I don't understand. But who cares? The mother loved to make little cakes out of the carrots which grew in the garden. For dinner, there was salad which she planted right next to the carrots. The father went out to stop the fire mice from burning the harvest because those mice ate ashes. Okay. The daughter was a little adventurous and often accompanied her father. She learned a lot about nature and knew that the mice weren't evil but greedy. 
The son liked to tinker useful things, which was why he made traps for the mice and caught ice roses, the ones which kept the cakes fresh. Every evening, the family sat together and talked about the adventures they had that day, and in the meantime, they ate salad and the delicious little cakes for desserts. Oh, this is just so cute. Let's go! Oh, cool. Stuff's happening now. And now for the key. Whoa, look at that. It's floating. Shouldn't we tell Granny? Oh, right. We also have to arm ourselves, because... Fire mice? Why should we? I'll bet there are some evil creatures lurking around in there. We can't be unprepared. But why would there be anything that's not written in the book? You know, whatever. Well, let's look outside. We always find good sticks out there. I'm pretty sure there was an axe in your house. Just saying. Can I save at some point? Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Maybe... Oh, here we go, here we go. So, save, file one, let's make sure it's there, okay, that's nice, now, get out of that, we're away for a while, so where are you going? A woman just got lost, and we showed her the way back, therefore she gave us a key. Now we can look after a present in our books. Oh my, a magical key. Back when I was young, Granny! Never mind. But be back home for dinner, okay? I'm not sure if she believes us, or if she's just kind of going along with it. But yeah, here's that axe. Um, I think that would make a better weapon than sticks. Okay, well, here's some sticks. Oh, look! They are perfect. We just have to equip this. Let's practice that. Very nice tutorial in there. Weapon, stick. Um. Okay, now how do I get... to the other kid? Worn shoes and worn clothes, and then I can get a talisman and a ring. Okay. Maybe if I do that? Okay, here we go. Equip. Nicole. Michael, maybe. Weapon. Stick. Very nice. This feels weird. But we are unbeatable. I hope so. I do, too. Let's see. I kind of want to explore a little bit. I mean, there's that cave over there. Eh, whatever. Let's just go in the book. Doom da doom ba doo ba doo. This music is really nice. I think we just have to touch it. Bind it to three. One, two, three! I almost made a Blue's Clues reference right there. It worked! Yay! All of this looks so real. Maybe it is. Maybe you were just... Doesn't matter. Oh, you were about to break the fourth wall right there. Alright. Let's start that adventure in the next episode. Thanks guys for watching. I'm definitely going to play some more of this game in the future. Oh, it looks really cute and I think it's going to be a nice game. And it... It's probably going to have some good action in it, too, considering that I just had to equip some weapons, so join me week after next, and this will probably be the game I'm playing. See ya!